great. Yeah, we are off to Brighton. <laughs> and the wind seemed to die down just like yesterday. There was basically a hurricane. In true Brighton fashion, we arrived to uh, <laughs> we arrived to Black Blackfriars. Bear in mind, we had pre-booked a ticket from Blackfriars, yeah. and the tra whole train station is closed. <laughs> uh, classic. 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 So we're now walking over to London Bridge. We think we made it, Jack. We're back. We're back. I was just saying, it feels like we're just <laughs> fitting right back in like a glove. It actually does. It just feels so natural. It feels homely. It feels homely. just like feels like an old friend giving you a hug. That's what it feels like. Yeah, let's just enjoy this day, I think. Yes. Enjoy being home. <laughs> enjoy exploring our home. Such a contrast from busy London. Like even the pace of like people walking, it's just so like chill. <laughs> like everyone just relaxed. I feel like you're on holidays. We'll be back. This is gonna this will hopefully be the backdrop to videos in the future. Maybe. No, no, I hope so. <laughs> I love I love break. <laughs> Me too. Absolutely classic. A bright I feel like classic. Don't grease in there. Mm, maybe. One of these shops anyway. <laughs> Aww. Big flowers. <laughs> I know. So nice. Is this a little charity shop? It's nice. Okay, we're going in here, are we? The roastery. The Trading Post coffee. See? You've seen this in old Brighton videos before. Maybe. You have? No, you have. It's good. <laughs> I think I'm going to hold off for a small batch, Jack. That's a good idea. I, I, yeah, I can't, can't <laughs> criticise that. Small batch is my favourite coffee in Brighton, so. Is that yeah. your favourite coffee ever? Um, I don't know, I love Watch House, but Watch House is a chain. Small batch is a small batch. <laughs> good. We have the flower pot bakery yeah. too. Good spot. Quite nice. This little camera shop is where I used to get all my film developed. And I used to come rush down here because I think it closed at six. six. And I used to finish work at half five, so I used to rush down to, to grab my my developed photos. And then this little shop on the corner, Beyond Retro, uh, we used to love going in here. I almost some charity. in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think we had pizza here one time. We did, we did. It's, it's really famous actually, Fato Mano's. It's considered one of the best pizzerias in Brighton. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. it was really good. Oh. Yeah. And then we're coming on to the North Lanes. <laughs> and now we're on the North Lanes. Lucy and Yak. Lucy and Yak. Yeah, some great charity shops and vintage shops. And little jewellery shops and little trinket shops. We may come back up here later and do a little bit of shopping maybe. Yeah, we might do. We love the North Lanes. Great for, great for picking up like Christmas presents and birthday presents. Um, or get a tarot reading if you're interested. <laughs> now we're into the South Lanes. South Lanes. Very cool as well. Often overlooked. <laughs> Don't be overlooking the South Lanes. <laughs> They're a little bit posher. Very in posh. North Lanes. Lots of jewellery stores. Like, you wouldn't be purchasing much here, but it's lovely to look at. Mix. And now we're nearly at Sugar Dough Jack, your favourite sausage roll in the world. I think my, I think it was, but it might be Shelter Hall, unfortunately. Right, Shelter Hall is not the one. Unfortunately, they've updated their menu in a bad way. Yeah. Just full of um, burgers, and fish and chips, and pizzas. <laughs> not what you want for Aww. a nice breakfast, sadly. But that's okay. It has its function still. Um, but yeah, Shelter Hall used to have rice paper rolls and delicious bow buns and something for everyone. But yeah. now it's something all. Something for the whole family. Now it's all fast food. No. Sad. So, anyway, oh well. we're off to Cafe. Coho instead. Nope. Jack went for the panko gas. Have a look. Pancakes. Dig in, Jack. Syrup. Oh. I went for the avocado on toast with dukkah, which is like little nuts. 
place guys, Pizza Pilgrims has opened in Brighton. Me and Jack's favourite pizza place. Looks great, Jack. Brighton's just gone even, who could have thought Brighton got even better but Pizza Pilgrims <laughs> as well. Do you like the spicy pepperoni one? Yeah, one time I had a spicy pepperoni one and I broke into sweat. <laughs> it's spicy. Embarrassing. It's a very nice pizza place in fairness. Okay, brilliant stop in Cafe Coho. And now... We're energised we again. We're energised. And now we are on to the cherry shop. Cherry shop's the old arrivals. See if we can pick up any good bits. Exactly. New shop. I know, Ox I know Oxfam is closed. Whoa! Branches. We've just found out some really sad news. Our favourite coffee chain in Brighton is closed. Small batch. Oh, well. What happened? Tell us. I'm so sad. That's actually such a shame. I'm so sad. That was like one of my favourite coffee shops ever. I agree. That was probably like top three coffees ever. Gone. Oh. Oh. I might try this coffee shop. It's new in Brighton. It's called Da Da Rama. <laughs> Tarama. Tarama. So we're in one of Brighton's beautiful squares. Well See? Done. Yeah, hallmark kind of landscapes or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Right. There's so so many beautiful squares in Brighton and Emmy used to live in one in Sussex Square. Yeah. And this is a lovely one in Hove. It's kind of um yellow tinted building. Yeah, the one in Sussex Square is all white, snow white. Mm -hmm. This is yeah, so it says yellow tinge. Yeah. But it has a private garden right on the seafront. A lot of old famous people used to live in these houses. And you have blue plaques around. And the whole house is like how many stories, Jack? Oh god. Basement as well. Probably one, two. Seven? Seven stories, six stories? But this used to be like one whole house. Like for instance, this section mm. here from this doorway to this used to be on up to the roof. It used to be one whole house. And they used to have the servants in the bottom and then they used to have the bedrooms in the top. Isn't that true, Jack? I think so. Or were the servants at the top and the no, kitchens no. at the bottom, no? Oh, I don't know actually. I we'll have to do Not some sure. googling. Too. Yeah, and of course they're all so old. There's no elevators. So. Yeah. Well, that makes sense that the servants were in the top because they had to walk up all the steps. Yeah, I thought it was. Oh, but okay, okay, that makes anyway. sense. But yeah, they had the kitchens in the bottom. But yeah, how beautiful are they? They're incredible. Honestly, I, in my opinion, they're like my favorite properties ever. Like, really? Period. I prefer Sussex Square because it's curved. Curved and, and uh, an arc. A bit like Bath, the, the Royal Crescent in Bath. Mm. Very similar. If you've seen that really video, pretty. check out the Bath video. <laughs> Yeah, we're in Hove now. Um, we're in Hove and we're hoping to get some ice cream in our favourite ice cream shop that hopefully hasn't closed down as well. Oh my god, yeah. Morocco. <laughs> oh my god, everything's closing down. Morocco. Well, me and Chloe would have a bad day sometimes. We used to take out the Sobe bikes, the Boris bikes here, and cycle 50, 20 minutes, 25 minutes down to Morocco's and oh have gosh. a banana split sitting on the bench. <laughs> you had a banana split. I had a banana split. Chloe would have a smaller ice cream. I would sit on the bench and we'd relax and we'd talk our problems away. Yeah, it was during lockdown, wasn't during it? During lockdown, yeah. So pretty, Jack. I went for salted caramel. Jack? Delicious. Better eat this quick, it's dripping. Oh. What a trophy. Yeah. <laughs> 